Now, voting has begun in Finland's general elections that could see a change of both the Prime Minister and the ruling coalition government. Up for grabs are about 200 seats in the Finnish parliament and the one fighting to stay in power is Sana Marin, the 37-year-old who became the youngest to head a government in 2019. She is the leader of Social Democratic Party and is considered a rising star for the centre-left. Heading the nation through a pandemic, Russia's invasion of Ukraine as well as Finland's accession to the NATO military bloc, Marine is considered absolutely popular in Finland. But she has also faced criticism by the opposition for her coalition's debt-fueled spending. She was also in news globally for her party at a time when Europe's energy crisis hit Finland hard. Of course, of course, we hope that social democrats will win these elections. It's so important because we want to stay open society that also wants to uh, work together internationally. We want to build better, greener, sustainable future where every people have the same opportunities in life. So, of course, we hope that we will win. Now, reports say that people are now focused on matters such as inflation, rising public debt, rising cost of living due to the pandemic and also the war in Ukraine. And this is where the incumbent prime minister faces the risk of losing power. The elections are heavily contested between the three parties, centre-left ruling Social Democratic Party, right-wing the Finns party and centre conservative National Coalition Party. Centre-left ruling Social Democratic parties led by Sana Marin observes feel that Marin's popularity might not translate into her victory in the upcoming elections. Right wing, the Finnish party is led by Rika Pura and she has been campaigning on the issue of migration into Finland. She has raised the issue of growing juvenile delinquency and also street crime in Finland. While the centre conservative National Coalition Party led by Petiri Orpo Said, the leader said that he wants to fix the economy and boost the economic growth of the country. Recent polls have put centre-right coalition headed by Petiri Orpo at the top place, although Orpo's national coalition has a thin lead at 19.8%. The nationalist Finnish party led by Rika Pura is polled at 19.5%. The Social Democrats led by current Prime Minister Sana Marin took third place at about 18.7%. The most important thing in next government is to fix our economy, boost economic growth, uh, balance public economy. And the second very important issue is to build up uh, NATO Finland. Of course there are many uh, legislative amendments and reforms that we want to pursue. Uh, for instance, to migration policy, uh, climate and energy policy, criminal policy uh, and we also want to tight uh, our attitude towards the European Union. So we need to be stricter. And for more on this we are being joined by Tevo Tevanind who is a professor of world politics at the University of Helsinki. Welcome to the broadcast. Voting has already begun in Finland, general elections. What are you expecting from this? Uh, hello, we are expecting a very tight election and moreover, even if we will know tonight who the biggest party is and what the order between the three parties is, the real tough period starts tomorrow when uh, between the winners they will try to see who can form a coalition. All right, and Sana Marin is also facing a tough challenge in these elections. Who do you think is the biggest, biggest competition and how can she gain an edge over the others? Well, she's had a little bit more left-leaning campaign than the center-left Social Democrats traditionally. Shows, so she's been arguing very strongly against the National Coalition Party of center-right about continuing public spending on welfare, education, elderly care and other things. And against the more far-right Finns party, she's been campaigning against their alleged racism. So uh, she's had a very strong uh, uh, sort of electoral debate style this time. It's difficult to see that that will be enough for her to win, but 
there are possibilities that she will win. And also there are possibilities that even if the center-right party wins, they will form a coalition with the Social Democrats. All right. Before I let you go, how do you see the election in Finland affecting Europe at large? Well, um, not so much, to be honest. On foreign policy, well, most parties are in agreement. One of the parties, the most far-right uh, Finns party, has an anti-European Union policy in general, but they are saying it would not affect in the short term their participation in the European Union. Of course, uh, what many people in Europe are looking at, whether the far right and the center right can find a common ground. Uh, and, and this is indeed one of the possibilities. And it is something that in many European countries, people are following with uh, either hopes or fears, depending on how people like that alternative. But it's something novel for Europe also. All right. Thank you for all those updates, Theo, from Helsinki. Thank you for joining us on this broadcast. Thank you so much. Mm.